The number one thing I want to emphasize for people is that when we know there's another snowfall coming uh, or rain that's going to turn into ice, the most effective thing that we can do is get on clearing that snow and ice away as soon as possible before it gets a chance to take hold. Now that's not always practical or it's not always something that we can uh, keep up with depending on what's going on with the weather. Uh, so other than that, I recommend a combination of salt and sand in a lot of situations and the reason for that is that the salt and the sand act in different ways to help us clear the ice and make things less slippery. Uh, I also recommend that people make decisions based on what seems to be the most cost effective and what might have the, the lowest amount of environmental impact. You don't need a lot of salt and sand on your walkways in order to help break up the ice and improve the traction that you're walking on. So spread it out, see how it's going. Uh, typically you're going to find that a little bit goes a really long way. Here's some of our road salt again. There's no point in putting big piles and chunks of it on the ground. The most effective thing is to spread it out. You can buy spreaders that will help to do that for you, or you can do something like put it in your hands, really spread your fingers out and give it a good shake. Something like that is gonna help to spread it around uh, in a way that you get the results without overusing the salt.